Good morning boys and girls, Miss Aisbit here. Today we're going to learn how to add by using the bridging to 20 strategy. So bridging to 20 means using your friends of 10 to break up the smallest number into two factors. Rearrange the number sentence to make it easier to solve in your head and it'll make sense in just a minute. So if I had the question 17 plus 5. Now some of you might use the counting on strategy to solve this but I'm going to show you how to do it in a different way. Now if you look at the biggest number 17 you need to figure out hmm what is the friend of 20 of 17? 3. Okay so I know that if 17 plus 3 is 20 but I don't have 3 I have 5. So I'm going to break 5 into 3 and 2 because 3 plus 2 is 5. So 3 plus 2 is 5, so it's the same thing. So this is what bridging is. See how I've broken the smallest number into two numbers that make that number? Now this is going to make it super easy to solve in your head because you're going to say 17 plus 3. And now that's really easy to do because it's a friend of 20. 17 plus 3 is 20. Okay, so keep 20 on your head. Now you need to add the remaining number. So 20 plus 2. 20 plus 2 is so easy. It's 22. So then you have your answer of 22. Okay, so I'm going to do another example. So 13 plus 8. Now, look at my biggest number. My friend of 20 for 13 is 7. So if I break 8 up it equals to 7 plus 1. Okay now I'm going to go 13 plus 7 and that's easy that's 20 because it's friends of 20. So that's done now I just have to add the last number so I keep 20 in my head 20 plus 1. Now that's easy 21. So the answer must be 21. Another example, 15 plus 9. 15, well my friend of 20 would be 5, so I'm going to break 9 into 5 and 4, because 5 plus 4 equals 9. Alright, so now all I have to do is 15 plus 5, that's easy because I did that before. 15 plus 5 is 20, keep 20 in your head, you've done that, now you just have to add the last number, 20 plus 4, is 24. Your answer would be 24. Last one. So 14 plus 7. My friend of 20 for 14 would be 6. So I'm going to break 7 into 6 and what else do I need to make 7? 1. So it turns into 14 plus 6 is 20. How good's that? Makes friends of 20. And then all I have to do now is keep that big number. 20 plus 1 equals 21. Okay, so it's just you're looking at this number, you're seeing what friend you need, all right, and you put that there, and then you just need to figure out what the other number is to make this number. And it might be hard at the beginning, but once you get the hang of this, it's actually really easy to do this in your head. Okay, so now it's your turn. So solve these questions by bridging to 20 and then adding the rest. So there are four questions. You're going to pause it in a minute. And what I've done for you is I've already added the friend of 20 in there for you. So all you need to do is you need to figure out, hmm, what number adds to make nine? What number adds to make seven? What number adds to make eight? And what number adds to make nine? So I want you to get a whiteboard or a piece of paper and a pencil. And I want you to solve these four questions. So pause it. And we're going to go through the answers in about one minute. Okay, so just pause it, solve all four questions, and I'll tell you the answers in just a minute. So let's go through the answers. 12 plus 9. Okay, so I know that 12 plus 8 and then 8 plus what equals 9? 8 plus 1 equals 9. So you should have done 12 plus 8 is 20. Make friends of 20 because we're bridging to 20. So that one's done. Then you just have to do the last one. So 20 
plus 1 is 21. So if you got 21 and you did it this way, you can give yourself a big tick. Next one, 17 plus 7. So I already put the 3 there for you to make the friend of 20. So what, 3 plus what equals 7? 3 plus 4 equals 7. So you needed to write it 17 plus 3 is 20 because we want to make 20. 20 is an easy number. And then that one's done. So now we have the 4. 20 plus 4 is 24. So if you've got 24 and you've rushed out like that, you can give yourself a big tick. C. 16 plus 8. And I know that the friend of 20 of 16 is 4. 4 plus what is 8? I can actually use my doubles to solve this one. 4 plus 4 is 8. So 16 plus 4 is 20. And then you got to add the last number. 20 plus 4 is 24. All right. If you did it that way, give yourself a big tick. Last one. D. 14 plus 9. All right, six plus what equals nine? I'm going to count on six, seven, eight, nine, three. Okay, so 14 plus six is 20 because we want to make 20. It's an easy number for us. Then we just have to add the last number. 20 plus three is 23. There's your answer. So I hope you got all of those correct. If you didn't, you can go back and you can change it. Now, this is all you have to do. So once you've done those four questions and you've ticked it with me, this is what you need to do. Solve this question by bridging to 20. So use the strategy that you just learned. Don't use the counting on or another one. Then you need to use the microphone on Seesaw to explain how you solved it and upload to Seesaw. Okay, so I've put the two circles here. All right, you might want to draw it on a piece of paper, take a photo, or you can do it here. But just like we did, solve this question and then use the microphone to explain how you did it. And that's it. Good luck.